to the audio rate modulator. Um, you can add this here to the filter device. Um, so the setup is basically I'm playing here three notes for the polysynth. And the polysynth, of course, creates audio, an audio stream. And this audio stream then goes into the audio rate modulator, as you can see on the visuals. And then we can apply this audio rate or this wave st stream of wave waveforms to uh, some modulation target. In this case here, I'm using the cutoff knob. So it's basically modulating this cutoff here uh, with the waveform the audio coming out of the polysynth, which makes it sometimes pretty interesting, uh, pretty interesting sound. And inside this audio rate here, we have uh, certain features we can use so we can only uh, get the stream of the left channel, the right channel, the mid channel, which is the mono signal, or the side channel, which is only the difference between left and right channel. And um, we can, of course, here add a gain to the audio if we have actually low gain here on the output of the polysynth or of your audio material you get get a bit more gain here it's basically an amplifier and we can apply here a low pass um, so if we have actually a lot of high top end content in the audio stream we can filter this here a bit out or smooth actually the signal a bit more We have also here a sidechain input, which means we can actually grab the audio from a different channel. We don't need to use the audio from coming here from the polysynth. So if we have, for instance, here a second audio track like this one here, and we have an audio file on here that's currently playing, or we have a synth there or some VST, it doesn't matter. Uh, we can actually choose here a second channel, grab the audio from there, instead of from in front of the um, device here. So this is also highly interesting to modulate from different sources, from different channels, cross modulate between different tracks and apply it to your current track. Um, then we have the rectify button here, which basically means um, that it uses the negative um, negative values of the audio signal as you can see here we have something above zero and something below zero so we have a bipolar signal and when we put rectify on you can see we have only positive uh, values so it maps basically the negative values to positive to the positive range so it flips it over so the negative values become positive uh, values If you switch this off, you can see we have now a bipolar signal here coming in plus and minus values. And rectify switches everything that's negative back to positive. Another interesting thing you can do in Bitwig Studio is to, um, let's remove here the filter and put this audio rate on the polysynth itself. You can choose here with the device input, not only different tracks, you can also choose the same track. So for instance, we have here the polysynth, which is currently the track we are on, right? It's the same track here, or the same synth. And we can choose the output of the polysynth itself and feed the audio signal back into the audio rate modulator and modulate something inside the polysynth. So we have kind of a feedback loop, right? So what goes out of the polysynth goes back into the audio rate, modulates something, and then it changes the sound and the sound goes back out and back into the audio rate. So this leads sometimes to interesting results.
You can with the audio rate modulator not only cross modulate between different tracks, you can also modulate from within the same track and modulate the input so you get a feedback loop with the audio rate. And you can also not only choose the output of the polysynth itself, you can also do here some kind of effects in the chain. So we have a um, limiter here. Maybe we also use a reverb. That's a bit longer. And then you can choose here polysynth and then you can choose the peak limiter output, which is back here, right? So you can create a whole chain of effects and change the sound and then feed it back into the front of your chain and create a super long uh, feedback loop.